The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Vivian Vance. stale quartet. I'm not even in it. You're not? How no. come? They had the nerve to tell me that I don't know how to sing. Oh, I think you have a lovely voice. Well, thank you, dear, but apparently I have a voice only a daughter can love. But you sound great in the shower. Well, I mentioned that, but they said when the water's not running, my voice leaves a lot to be desired. Well, I'll bet you sing as good as the rest of them. Well, actually, they've had a lot more experience, you know. Dorothy and Grace sing in the church choir, and Thelma Green says she once appeared in the third road company of Rio Rita. And, of course, Aunt Viv sang with a band in college. Did Aunt Viv really sing with a band? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Viv keeps telling me she could have been another wee Bonnie Baker. <laughs> Who is wee Bonnie Baker? Oh, she was a big singing star. She made her, her biggest hit when she sang, Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, how you can love. Oh, Johnny, oh, Johnny, heaven's above. That was a big hit? Yeah, that was a big hit. Hi. Well, you, uh, you'll understand when you try to explain to your daughter what was so hot about Elvis Presley singing, You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Are you disappointed that you're not in the quartet? Oh, heavens no. I couldn't care less. Well, bye, Mom. Bye-bye, honey. Don't be too late now. No, I won't. Ah, 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 me, 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 me. Ah, 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 We've got terrible news. Tragedy has struck. What? Grace has to drop out of the quartet. Why? Oh, her husband's company is transferring him to California, and he has to leave right away. And she has the nerve to want to go along with her husband and four children. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving our quartet high and dry. I never knew a soprano you could trust. <laughs> well, who can we get to take her place? Yes, who? Hi, girls. Hi, Hi. Lucy. Oh, hi. Well, I know you have a lot of rehearsing to do, so I'll leave you alone. 
Oh, now, let's see. There must be someone we can get to take Grace's place in our quartet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who? They don't have barbershop trios, do they? Oh, no. And even if they did, we all sing harmony. We need somebody to take melody. Yes, we need somebody that'll sing melody. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy, we're trying to think of a singer to take Grace's part. <laughs> so would you please stop all that noise, dear? <laughs> Let's see, what other women are on our volunteer fire department? Um, what about Pauline Lopez? Oh, no, she could never get away with those seven kids. <laughs> That's right. Even before she comes to a fire, she has to find a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what about Barbara Cushing? She's the soloist in our choir. She has a beautiful voice. But she's not a member of the volunteer fire department. Oh, that's right. Good try. Keep thinking. Where's the fire? <laughs> oh, there isn't any fire, but I know who you can get to replace Grace. Who? Ah, uh, well, it, it, it's someone who uh, who isn't moving to California, and someone who sings melody, and someone who doesn't have any babysitter problem, and someone who is a member of the Women's Volunteer Fire Department. Who is it? Give us her name. Down by the old <laughs> mill stream. Her name. Her name. <laughs> If you three are so dense, I don't know if I want to be in your darned old quartet. You? 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 Yes, me, me, me. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Lucy. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Well, I... Should... Well, now, her voice isn't too bad. It isn't good, but it's not bad. <laughs> well, if we don't take her, we won't be able to go to Albany. Well, it... Well, there isn't anybody else. She's better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lucy, you're in. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, we better start rehearsing. Yeah, girls, we gotta get rehearsing right now if we're going up to Albany and get a hold of that little old cup. Now, line up right over here. Line up according to size because that makes the sound a lot better. Okay, Lucy, <laughs> Lucy. Well, um, why did you decide to sing? Well, actually, we hadn't come to any decision yet. I still think we should sing Moonlight Bay. Oh, by the light of the silvery moon had such good harmony. Yeah, but Red Revved Robin, is that that, yes. you know, that hey, red... Hey, I know, I know, Be no. My Bumblebee. That's a wonderful old number, has a great arrangement for quartets. And it's not, you're not one of those things like Red Red Robin, you know, everybody and his brother sings. It's Lucy! Well, now, it's really up to you three to decide. <laughs> Let's try by the light of the silvery moon. Okay, okay, by the light of the silvery moon. Oh, righty, here's your note, Dorothy. Bye, 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 Sing, it's how much you project. Project? <laughs> yes, you gotta throw out your voice. Well, let's not get nasty. <laughs> oh, listen, girls, let's just forget the whole thing. Let's forget the whole thing. Oh, no, now, wait a minute. Why don't you sing my number? You'll be able to hear me on my number. Be my bumblebee. I got it right here. 
Look, Viv, you play that. You sing right there. I sing right here. Here, give me my first note. Okay. You'll be able to hear me on this one. It's a very good yeah, arrangement. Come on. B, 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 B. La, la, la. couldn't hear me that time. Oh, don't you bet your sweet life we could hear you that time. Don't you think those parts are a little unevenly divided? <laughs> you gotta admit you could hear me. Oh, we could hear you yeah. all right. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm certainly not going clear up to Albany just to be a buzzer. <laughs> that number doesn't need a quartet. All it needs is a soprano and a hive. <laughs> We should forget the whole thing. Let's just forget the forget whole thing. Forget it. You want me to Wait a minute, Thelma. Here? Thelma, what did you say about projecting? We said you didn't do it. <laughs> well, would it help if I learned how? Well, sure it would help, but how could you? Hey, my vocal coach is here in town. I bet he could teach her how to sing properly and to project. Sure he could. Well, now, it may be worth a try. Sure, it's worth a try. It's our only chance. Yeah, it's your only chance. I'll call Dr. Gittim on the first thing in the morning. No, 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 call him right now. But it's so late. Well, well, that's just it. We haven't got a moment to lose. You know how bad I am. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Dr. Gitterman, how do you do? I'm Lucy Carmichael. Yes. Thelma tells me we've got a little problem. By next week, she wants me to get some power into that little tiny voice of yours. Oh, well, I don't know that I have such a little tiny voice. Oh, would you mind giving me a sample? Uh, down by the old mill street. We haven't a moment to lose. <laughs> Now, the first thing I teach my pupils is correct posture. Well, but Dr. Gettemann, wouldn't you like to take off your coat? We haven't got that much time. Oh. <laughs> you have time to take off your coat. First thing I teach my pupils is correct posture. Yes, now, let sir. me see you stand. Please. Yes, sir. Is that your posture? <laughs> well, it sure looks like mine. <laughs> well, now, if you want to be a singer, you're going to have to learn to stand up straight. <laughs> Quite so stiff. You've got to learn. You've got to learn to relax. Yeah, oh. do as I do. Yeah. <clears throat> now, completely relax your entire body. <laughs> imagine yourself. Imagine yourself a marionette. You have absolutely no control over your actions. Someone is pulling the strings, and you must do exactly as he says. Mrs. Carmichael, what are you doing? I think there's a new man on the string. <laughs> well, now that we've got you relaxed, let's get back to your posture. Now, now stand straight, but remain relaxed. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, that, that is the correct posture for yes, a singer. Sir. Yes, sir. Now, the next thing we want to discuss is breathing. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, the breath is most important. The breath, after all, is that power that operates the vocal cords. Where do you breathe? Oh, anywhere I happen to be, it's a place. <laughs> yes, well, the correct placement of the breath on the vocal cords is very important. You see, it's that that produces the, the proper the tonal quality. Yes, sir. Mm. Well, now, sit down over here and relax, please. The breath hitting the vocal cords at exactly the right spot that nature intended will give you a sound like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's merely a sound I'd like you to imitate. Uh, uh. <laughs> that is very good. You shall promise. Thank you. Yes, now I want you to chew your tongue and hum. 
<laughs> Chew my tongue and hum. <laughs> That loosens the vocal cord. Now, at the same time, same time, I want you to think of your voice as an umbrella that closes and opens like this. Now, continue to chew your tongue and hum. Open. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try the vowels now. The vowels? The vowels. Ah, A, O, U. With me, please. Ah, ah, A, O, U. Ah, A, O, U. Fast. Ah, A, O, U. Ah, A, O, U. Ah, A, O, U. Now, I'd like you to try another one. Ooga! 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 Ah, ooga! 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 No, stop! I'm not doing it right at all, Mrs. Carmichael. You're not using your glasses. I didn't even know I had one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perhaps I've been going along a little too rapidly yes, for you. Sure have. Let's, let's try something else, now, shall right. we? All right. Now, to breathe correctly, you must you must use the the suction power of your lung. Yes, sir. Now, I will tell you what I want you to do. I want you to take a deep breath and hold it. Now, take a very deep breath. Yes, sir. Mm, hold it. Deep. Deep breath and hold it. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi, Dr. Gitterman. Oh, hello, Selma. Oh, how are you? Fine, thanks. Hey. I'd like to meet the other members. Well, I think we can show a little progress. Okay. What's the matter with her? Huh? Oh, I forgot, Mrs. Carmichael. I say. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I, I forgot about you. And I must say, I'm amazed at how long you were able to hold your breath. You must have very powerful lungs. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll do that. And let's show our friends what we've done, huh? <laughs> Remember everything I've taught you. The posture. Yes, now the relax. Yes, remember, the, remember the proper breathing. And chew your tongue and hum. And, and, and the umbrella. Oh, the quality. And I hit this note. <laughs> Okay. I understand there are going to be 3,000 people in the audience. 
3,000 yeah. people. Oh. Oh, Dorothy. Oh, I'm so nervous my knees are knocking together. I've got butterflies in my stomach. I've got butterflies and their knees are knocking together. <laughs> How are you feeling? <laughs> Lucy, are you all right? I'll be all right right after I faint. <laughs> You're not going to faint. That's right, I'm not going to faint. Good girl. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Oh, no, you're not. We've got to get to that auditorium and get dressed. Oh, 3,000 people? Oh, don't let that bother you. Think of them as just one person. Just one person with 6,000 eyes. <laughs> Come on now, Lucy. You just got a little stage fright. Yeah, I just got a little stage fright. It's normal to feel nervous. Yeah, it's normal to feel nervous. Well, you'll be fine once you step out on that stage and start singing our song. What song? <laughs> the song we're going to sing in the contest in about 10 minutes. What contest? <laughs> She's drawn a blank. Lucy, you know the song we've been rehearsing, By the Light of the Silvery Moon. By the what? <laughs> oh, by the light of the silvery moon. By the light of the silvery moon. Ooh, that's a catchy little two, what is it? <laughs> Come on now. You know how badly you wanted to join our quartet, remember? Now you know that, don't you? No. You remember Dr. Gitterman? No. Dr. Gitterman, the voice teacher that was going to teach you to sing so you could sing in the contest. Dr. Gitterman. Mm. Gitterman, the voice teacher. That's it, the one that taught you that. That's the one, Dr. Gitterman. You're going to sing by the light of the silver moon in the contest. That, oh, that's it now. By the light of the silver moon. Volunteer Fire Department, the Four Alarms. Place, park, scene, dark. Silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me, you. Sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, be gun. Dialogue, where would you like to spoon? My clue with you. Underneath the silvery moon. By the light, by the light, by the light of the silvery moon, silvery moon, silvery moon. I want to spoon, want to spoon, want to spoon to my honey. I'll croon love to honey moon, honey moon, honey moon. Keep a shining in June, keep a shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love. We'll be cuddling soon By the silvery moon The silvery moon The silvery moon <laughs> have just handed me their decision. And the winners are from Danfield, the four alarms. Yeah! Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that you all join me in wishing the four alarms all the luck in the world when they appear in the national finals in New York City, which will be televised from coast to coast and seen by the entire nation. Oh. <laughs>